Hi everyone. We are very pleased to announce that the beta version of our online code editor is up and running and I'm going to talk about how to utilize it in order to create awesome web interfaces, elements and components. Let's start by saying that this online code editor is developed to provide you with a fast way to develop your prototypes and test them in real time before any further progress in your projects. With sophisticated yet easy to use layout, it gives you a lot of freedom in your development. All right, let's start by going through creating a small code and then take it from there. As you can see, the address to this editor is codehost.com slash codity. Let's start by creating a new code. Let me tell you that in order to save your work, you need to sign up and then sign in. You can easily do that using uh, Facebook or you can just fill in the form that we have in our sign up page. All right, as you can see here, we have an HTML editor, CSS, and then JavaScript. Up here, you can see that you can change the layout to vertical layouts, like this, and then also the horizontal layouts. And obviously, this is if you want to have more room vertically, your output that you will see over here, or you want to have more room horizontally. Also, you can see that here, the editors are draggable so you can give more space to each of those if you want let's say I just want to use a CSS editor I've already implemented my HTML and the CSS down here you can just switch off to hide the HTML and CSS and also you can just switch to this layout so you can have uh, enough space for your CSS development also you can drag this to have more over here If you're not a fan of dark layout, you can easily switch to light layout over here. And also, if you go into your settings, you can see that you can define some of the things so that every time you create a new code, that setting gets applied. So let's say I want light theme, and I always want this to be my initial layout. That gets saved, and then if I create a new code, you can see that I have a white layout, and this is the initial layout that gets selected. All right. The other thing I wanted to talk about is these gear icons up on these code editors. So in case of, for example, CSS, you can see that you can choose SAS as your preprocessor if you like. And also if you want to add some external CSS, as all of us use most of the time, you can do it through here. So you have Bootstrap and Foundation right away added. So you can basically just choose Bootstrap and it gets added over here. Or you can add some external ones, let's say a Google Form, and then just paste the URL over here and then save your changes. The same goes for JavaScript. So the JavaScript, you can have some predefined ones defined up here, the most famous ones. Uh, if you are a fan of, for example, visualization, you can go ahead and add it. Or you can easily add more libraries over here. All right, so let's get started by creating a button. Uh, I'm going to choose dark layout because that's my preference. And then I will give it a class BTN and then press tab. So it basically completes my command. And then I will type this is coded, right? Let's give it some styles over here, the BTN. I would like to just change the background color to be um, well, something like tomato, make it orangey. I don't want to have any border. I want to give it a padding of maybe 20 pixel. Let's give it a font size of 20 pixel. Uh, just changing the color to white. And then I would like to give it a border radius of 5 pixel. And then I want to actually center it in my page. So I will give it a position absolute. And then I will give it a top 50%, left 50%. And then I will use transform, translate to just, you know, put it exactly on the center. And then uh, as you can see, uh, sorry, I just give minus. As you can see, there is this outline. When I click on it, just I will give it outline none. 
And then let's say when I hover on this, I want to, to change the opacity. So the BTN hover, I just give it opacity of maybe 0 0.9. So you can see when I hover, it just gets a softer, softer sort of color. Let's say what I want to do in terms of interactivity is that when I click on this button, I want to change the text. So I'm going to use jQuery uh, to facilitate this. So what I do is that I go up here, I choose jQuery, which is these. Uh, it doesn't matter in my case, just save it. And then I would type jQuery and then document ready. Let's make sure my document is ready and then pass it a function. And within that function, I would like to add a click handler to the element that has a class btn, in this case this guy, and then my click handler, passing it the function to change the text. So basically I would type this, which refers to my button, and then I would just change the text to this is clicked, right? And then same for so basically what happens if I click over here, you can see that this changes to this is clicked, right? Uh, perfect. So as you can see, it was very easy to create such a thing. And then obviously I'm going to go ahead and save it. So this is now saved and it obviously returns me to the layout that I saved for in the, in the beginning. So you can see how easy it is to create prototypes such as this and easily sharing it using this uh, in social media or to whoever you want. You can also use this feature private. So basically, if you look at if you look at it right now, you can see that it gets added over here, right? So what I would like to do is that maybe I don't want to show it to the public. So I go in and I just click on this private. Now if I go back. Uh, let's just save it. If I go back, you will see that it's not showing up here. The only place that I can see it is in my profile. So up here in my profile, I can see it, but nobody else can see it if they come as another user in this profile. So you, you basically saw how easy it is to create one. I hope this can be a useful tool for you to create your prototypes. Let us know of any feedback you have. As I said, this is the beta version. Uh, there are things to add to this. There are some bugs to fix, but it's functional. You can definitely use it in uh, creating your prototypes. One thing I forgot to add is that you can change the name of this by clicking on this and changing this to like Codity Demo. And then just click on this and save it. You can see that obviously in your profile page, it will name as Codity. And if I go and just change this to private, go back, you can see that I can see that with this name, Codity, down here. I hope you like this. Again, just give us any feedback you want. Uh, if there is any feature request you want to add, just send it to kotus at kotus.com as an email, and we will see what we can do. Thank you very much, and have a very nice day. Bye.